you make me tired when you train, guys. He has no size. Actually, he has a big size, just skinny and strong. My friend Brian, come in here. Yeah. I tried choking him, he didn't like to tap. <laughs> when he go go pitch, he tap for the guys. That, look at that. Uh, see that? The four roll. Nice one. Thank you. Nice you, wore blue, you wore blue too, though. Joe Cam Blue? No? I should have done my Black belt in The market's down, I couldn't afford a new geek. <laughs> Congratulations. Man, I'm shaking like allergies. Uh -huh. Allergies. Yeah, thank you. So I'd like to take the next like five minutes to talk to you guys about Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll hurry it up. But seriously, it's an honor. I went from white to black, and I'm proud to say that I'm a bunch of 64th white black belt. So I've been sitting on that one for a year, Clint. Uh, but seriously, um, I thought about this like this moment a long time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak it in for a second. I thought about what I was gonna say right here. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I mean, I've been training for 10 years now, so I've been thinking about this a lot. And uh, when I was a kid, I always wanted to train martial arts. And it's because Jean-Claude Van Damme movies and the Karate Kid, like right? that's, that's why we wanted to train. But it's like the, the Karate Kid thing had it backwards, right? He takes, he takes stuff from the real world, the wax on, wax off, and then they take it onto the mats and it teaches them a lesson about martial arts. But that whole thing's backwards, right? Because Pancho, what he teaches us on the mats and which, what the coaches teach us are things on, on the mats that we take out into the real world. It's the exact opposite, it's right? Like, you learn to stay calm in the chaos. You learn that uh, the bad times don't last. You learn uh, that if, if something doesn't work, you do it again. It doesn't work, you do it again. It doesn't work. If the technique's not working, it's not a technique problem, it's a you problem. Yes. <laughs> All right? And so, this, if you're out, if you're an employee for a company, if you're a husband, a wife, whatever, these lessons that we get on the mats, they, 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 when we walk through that fire, we come out refined on the other side. And we come out better husbands, better followers of God, better, better, better wives, better brothers, better sisters, and all those things. Um, I also learned the mats from Poncho, from the coaches, from the Randy Scotts of the world, and Mike Bravos, and the Eric Goodens of the world, that uh, humility gets you further than arrogance on the mats. We've all seen that. And uh, the Bible says that iron sharpens iron, and I think God, God is so good that he gave me you, Coach, that he gave me you guys. I mean, the fire that we go through, the iron that I sharpen myself against, I wouldn't choose any other gym. I mean, guys, God is so good to me. It's because of you guys, because of you, Coach. So I get to forever say that I'm a Pancho Policiano Black Belt. And, uh, Thank <laughs> you. 